today to talk about the Homegrown Food Edible Britain National Gardening 2019 under the hashtag National Gardening Week and this is a collaboration by Liz Zorab and Erica's Little Welsh Garden. So follow me on the journey. So this is where our allotment journey began around about two years ago and it was Ben that started this up. Now where we live here is a a communal garden we shared with other um, tenants on the property so we decided that we wanted a, a bigger allotment something that we can call our own and not have to share with anybody else and it was Ben that started this and in here he had rhubarb raspberries some gooseberries and um, blackcurrant and today is the day when we move the last of what's here because all well, this area here is going to be rotated and the lean to greenhouse is going to be going up against the back of this garage. So you can look out for some uh, other features that we're going to be doing in the um, coming days. And these are hashtag carrot in the bottom the hashtag potato manure or animal um, waste we're going to try it in our guinea pig and rabbit dropping with all the sawdust, the hay and everything mixed together see what we get and the hashtag sunflower challenge 2019 and that's the one that's set up by Nick's allotment diary now where I'm sitting at the minute is our uh, lean to greenhouse this is what we picked up for free on uh, Facebook we've actually picked up two different greenhouses both of them had pieces of glass missing and uh, they were both free and um, between the two greenhouses we made to manage to be able to get one decent lean-to greenhouse fully complete with all the glass with, with no sort of panes missing so it's fully a sealed unit now where i'm sitting in the greenhouse used to be a little sort of garden that ben set up um this is in our communal garden here where we live so it's shared with other tenants and residents and um ben had growing in their rhubarb um black currant raspberries and gooseberries so it's all fruit and the reason why we moved from um having the little um area here to get an allotment is for the for the following reasons now ben has um learning difficulties um he has a couple of conditions called global delay and microcephaly and is on the autistic spectrum this means that ben struggles um to work with peers of his own age his reading and writing is at the level of a three or four year old tends to get bullied a lot of school and he um, tends to bond well with sort of people um, a lot younger and his nieces, nephews, cousins that are six, six year olds who gets on with them brilliantly um, but people of his own age, he does have a few circle of friends which he has in his learning group and he gets on well with those now he doesn't attend any mainstream classes he's in middle school he's due to move up to high school um, in september now what we've had to do is get a, an ehcp which is called an educational health care plan for ben this has taken two years um, for the various organizations to put together go to panel and identify that he needs the funding for his learning and to get that all agreed now we have the ehcp plan it means that ben gets um you know, permanent uh, time in in the support or the learning center as i like to call it the only two lessons he attends to with the rest of his class are sort of the pe sports and the design and technology uh, now one thing um that ben we identified is that they have an edible garden at the school where he is and he found that he really loved his gardener 
and he really excelled in this and he was able to learn and pick up a lot of knowledge from this so that is why he set up the garden in this community area here but uh, after sort of scouring the web and, and following um, Ian Nocton at the time his YouTube channel you know we, we wanted to get an allotment now a lot of channels said that you know it can take a year two years to, to get an allotment so we was prepared to to have the way to get the allotment so we contacted the local parish council and um, the clerk there said um, you know we'll sell off meat and if you will Saturday come down and have a look at the plots if you're happy with what you're seeing everything you can you can take it straight away and I was like wow and I was expecting to sit there for a year maybe two years at least before we get this plot um, up, up and running and even being considered for the plot so yeah we, we signed up these we took on uh, two plots 30 pound um, a year for each plot and a hundred pound deposit that can get returned if you vacate the plot and you clear away all your rubbish etc so yeah we, we started our allotment journey um, in June of last year we got into it fairly late um, so we happened to buy all sort of store um, beds that was already grown for us not that we could do on our own because we're just too far late in the season that's included tomatoes chili peppers all the all the uh, fruits that I mentioned earlier that, that were moved up um, some runner beans uh, a few onions and that was about our limit this year we, our aim is to have 27 raised beds um, and that's potentially 27 different types of things that we can grow now we have started our seeds in here uh, and they're all coming along we are a bit behind because we only started it in the end of April beginning of May whereas everybody else has started sort of February March so we are a little bit behind but we will catch up and that gives us a little bit of time to finish organising those beds on the plot now um, as some of you may know or may not know um, I don't like showing myself on camera now the reason behind this is for two reasons I have an illness called Addison's disease now this affects one in a hundred thousand people and I won the lottery and I was one of those one in a hundred thousand that it, that it happened to Oh, the rats have won the lottery and had the money but unfortunately that's life and, and I've got this condition uh, it means that I have to take medical steroids which means that my weight has um, ballooned quite a lot I've gone from a sort of 32 inch waist trouser up to a 44 inch waist now the second reason I don't like showing myself on camera is that um, nearly two years ago I had a dental abscess the dental abscess turned into um, an infection the infection got into my bloodstream and caused sepsis and the sepsis spread all the way through the blood in my body got into my heart um, and I had two respiratory arrests but it was after one of those rare respiratory arrests that a decision was made to save my life I had to have all my teeth removed and the reason being was this the um, sepsis had damaged all the um, nerve endings and the roots and they told me that my teeth would rot and just fall out and that I was at risk of um, further sepsis so I had to undergo an operation to have all these teeth taken out I was in hospital for some nine months in total um, they struggled to find an antibiotic to cure me as well I was able to keep me um, ticking over um, the infection wasn't getting healed, I was getting all the respiratory support and everything else there but I have a penicillin allergy and I became what's known as MDR, multi-drug resistant so every type of antibiotic they was giving me I just built resistance up and they, um, they just didn't work in the end they found one uh, antibiotic called meropenem it's a very very expensive antibiotic but luckily that did work and then after about three months treatment on meropenem I was discharged from hospital so as you can see I did have all my teeth out 
Um, I have been to the dentist and had dentures and I just could not get on with them at all. Um, they just made me gag, made me choke, my talking was funny, the ability to eat and drink I found very difficult and obviously you know, I was told to bear with it, stick with it, you'll get used to them, your speech will return to normal and everything else. I, I, just, I just couldn't do it so I took the decision, I am what I am and I'm just going to accept that if one day in the future I can afford to get implants, so I'll, you know, I'll get implant treatment. So I do apologise if you don't see me on camera a lot, and if I'm behind the camera, that is my main reason. So Ben and I both have reasons why that gardening became our passion. Now Ben, as I said, he struggles with reading and writing, but give him a lawnmower, he can fill it up with petrol, he, he can prime it, he can start and he can cut a lawn, give him a task to do of, of digging weeds, he'll take the weeds out, um, give him a task of going and getting um, compost or manure from the plot, he's able to do that, he excels in this um, area. Um, so this is something that Ben enjoyed doing, and um, between us we just decided that the allotment um, was where we wanted to be, and we're having a great time. We've made some great friends on there. We've discovered so much knowledge from YouTube. Um, that robotic allotment with this recycling, reuse, repurpose. We don't have a lot of money. Uh, so we are gardening on the budget. We try to do things for free. We save all our yogurt pots, as you can see in videos, and use these as plant pots. Um, we, we, we got all the leaf mould earlier in the year for free. Um, we make all our own compost. The main outlay is really um, the plant seeds we've got to buy, all the propagation kits, the um, vermiculite, perlite, things like that. And we do have an Amazon wish list of items that we do need for the plot that we can't obviously afford at this time, but we will get those um, slowly over the coming years as uh, finance, finances agree with us. But um, there is an Amazon link in the description below and if you are able to help us with um, getting any of these items then we'll be very grateful and obviously we'll, we'll give you a mention in return and, and um, you know, film unboxing or and using the items in our upcoming vlogs. So I'm going to sign off now. These are reasons that we, we like to garden and um, we're having a brilliant time. We've just recently ordered our parsnip from Carrot Giant Seeds and we're looking at going to Morgan this year and meeting up with some fellow YouTubers that, that we've discovered on our gardening journey between us. So, um, so yeah, that's really all I've got to say today. I will be doing a plot tour fairly soon once I've de-weeded and had a bit of a tidy up. And there is the other challenges I mentioned earlier, the sunflower, the potato, and the uh, carrot in the bottle. They will all be coming shortly. So um, I'm glad that we've made some good friends, and, and please do comment. If you, if you like our content, what we do, please do subscribe, and hit that like button. And you know, I, your comments, whether they're positive, negative, neutral, we take them all on board. Without you guys, we wouldn't be able to make all this possible. So thank you very much. And we'll see you in our next journey. Um, see you later. Goodbye. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you do like our content, please do subscribe. Hit the like button. You can also contact us through our social media sites that's um, twitter at glac jones instagram db underscore allotment underscore vlogs and on facebook if you do a search for my big allotment project you'll find all our details there you can also check out our website www.allotmentguide.com thanks very much guys see you in the next video